And just like that, it's time for more Match of Madness. We have made it up to lucky number 13 today, Battle 13, which is going to be pitting the Organic Matcha Kaoru Supreme from Ocha up against the Hyper Premium Organic from Breakaway Matcha. So let's brew them up and find out who's going to come out ahead. See you in a minute. And just like that, they're all brewed up. They both had a little bit of clumpiness, I guess, would be the best way to explain it. Took a little bit more pre-mixing to get them ready to start turning on the aerator. The Hyper Premium did a little bit better, I think. Both had a little bit of issues. Looking at them, they actually both have pretty similar color. The Ocha might be just a little bit more deeper green. Maybe not. Look very similar in the glass today. Let's give them a smell now. Man, this one's just like practically nothing. I think I'm smelling the glass more than I am the matcha. Just very, very clean. The slightest young pea shoots. And the Hyper Premium Organic. Okay, there's a little bit more character. Kind of reminds me of paper. Like a sheet of paper. A little bit of darker green notes. More towards the spinach. Not quite colored greens. Not quite like a dark, dark fibrous. But like a young baby spinach. Something else going on in that one. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But it's definitely got more character. The Hyper Premium Organic has a little bit more character on the aroma. We'll see if that follows through on the taste. But first, the Okoro Supreme. Cheers. Oh, a bit of a kick of bitterness up front. A little bit of sourness. Oh, more pronounced sourness. Let it kind of roll around on the tongue a little bit. The sourness starts to present itself, and then it really asserts itself, and it starts to slowly peter off, but it's still kind of a bitter sour. I'm trying to see if I can find a sweet note. Right, right at the beginning, there's a bit of sweet, but it quickly moves into bitter. Now, a lot of teas in general will have a bitterness that slowly fades back into sweetness, and this one had a very, very, very brief hit of sweetness and then quickly went into bitterness. And I sit here talking, waiting to see if that's gonna now transition back into sweetness. Still some of that sourness. Bitterness is mostly petered out. Hasn't really moved much into sweetness though. A little bit of almost minty. It's interesting. A lot going on in the flavor. Not much on the aroma, but the flavor is kind of a bit of an interesting journey. Let's try the Hyper Premium Organic. Twigs, a little bit of that cinnamonness. Cinnamon is kind Kind of giving it a little bit too much credit. It's kind of more holiday spices in just kind of a general pumpkin pie spice bread type of combination. Where cinnamon is almost surely a part of it, it's kind of a bit more going on. There is some bitterness, some astringency. Seems like whenever there's that kind of woodsy note, which I just have to imagine comes from part of the processing when they strip that tensha of the stems and veins, it just feel like when I get some of the woodsy notes, it's more of those elements staying in through to the final that didn't all get out. And then that presents as a bit of twigginess, which then turns into a bit of astringency. Not bad. This one has more conversion into sweetness from the bitterness. There wasn't much bitterness to begin with. It's probably the most pronounced sour note I've had yet. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fine, and they're both okay, just compared to the other offerings that I've seen so far in this battle. I would say both of these are okay. Nothing super terrible about either. Uh, not super, super off-putting. I probably wouldn't reach for the Okuru as much. It has a bit too much bitterness for me. And this one still has some bitterness, but it's less pronounced. And there's some of that kind of cinnamony note, baking spices, whatever you want to call it. So I think the Hyper Premium Organic is going to take the win today. So now I can tell you a bit more about the Organic Matcha Kaoru Supreme from Ocha. Now this is, double check here, yep, this is a 30 gram container. And it's uh, one of the more common container types. It's got the close, very tight fitting top and then the secondary uh, seal on the inside. Very tight fitting cap on the top. Nice layer of protection from oxidation. Price comes in at $28.21. That of course being 
the result of an international conversion at the time of purchase, which brings it in at only 94 cents per gram. So this is one of the cheapest options within the battle, one of only three that are sub $1 per gram. Uh, season 2018, cultivar we don't know, origin, this is coming from Kirishima. And now for the description from Ocha's website. Ocha.com's private label organic matcha Kaoru Supreme, a finer organic matcha you'll be hard pressed to find. This is our top grade of organic matcha, grown in Kirishima district of Japan's Kagoshima prefecture with only natural organic fertilizers and no agricultural chemicals. It is certified by JONA, Japan Organic and Natural Food Association, meets the JAS certification requirements and also carries the USDA and European IMO seals. Certificates on file. Extremely fresh, our matcha are ordered shortly before shipping to our customers and are always stored under refrigeration until shipment. So really playing up all the different organic certifications going into this matcha. Unfortunately, just being a well-made product doesn't always mean it's the best tasting product. And today, the Hyper Premium Organic came out ahead. With the organic matcha Kaoru Supreme bowing out in this first round, our bracket now looks like this. And I will see you tomorrow for our next battle. Getting close to the end of the first round here. It's very exciting. See you then.